Good morning, afternoon or evening, ladies and gentlemen, all in crypto here and welcome back guys for another daily cryptocurrency market update. If you are new around here, do consider becoming a subscriber because every single day at 1pm UK time, we drop an update just like this one to help you guys stay up to date with the latest and greatest that happening within the crypto space but also the broader markets. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. And actually, it's quite a large part of what we do here in these market updates is we cover the broader macroeconomic landscape to help us figure out where our small but significant market is heading. And we'll be doing a sensational job of that thus far, if I do say so myself. So this is going to be a bit of an interesting um, video. You know, we've said a hell of a lot on the kind of macro. We've said a hell of a lot on Bitcoin's price action. I want to start the video off. We've got a couple of clips to play in this video. The first one is actually a clip of Klaus Schwab uh, talking about this um, systemic restructuring that we have upon us uh, in regards to you know the world, and and, and it's my belief that it's a, um, a a globalist agenda that we're moving towards. And actually, distributed ledger technology, ironically, because it was kind of birthed in the name of decentralization and giving power back to the people. I think is going to be the very tool that the likes of the World Economic Forum, and we're already seeing the foundations be put in for it with the likes of CBDCs and things, is going to be the very tool that they use to consolidate the world and bring it under um, a more global regime, which is the systemic change I think Klaus Schwab is talking about. Um, and that's ultimately one reason why I think this industry is going to succeed uh, is because it's part of their agenda. Now, who they are is up for your imaginations to decide, um, but really... The World Economic Forum, Klaus Schwab, you know, they want this global, taxable, um, you know, trackable, traceable world, and they're going to use blockchain to do that. And it's really ironic because many of these systems were birthed out of this need for decentralization to move away from this consolidation and this globalist um, sort of agenda. So we're going to start the video off there. Then we're going to be looking at a clip from Grayscale's CEO talking about the wall of $30 trillion that is about to hit the cryptocurrency market uh, or most notably Bitcoin, but it ultimately will find itself through to the altcoins, I'm sure, when they get ETFs and things approved, which I'm pretty adamant is coming. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of price action. You know, you've got the likes of um, Bitwise now releasing adverts um, in regards to promoting ETF products for Bitcoin. You know, we had Google adjusting their policy on the uh, promotion of exchange traded products for crypto. All the stars are aligning and we've also got a great macro backdrop, we believe, and we've explained all the reasons why. And of course, um, you know, this is now an uptrending market. So as promised, let's start a video off with Klaus Schwab, very short one, talking about the systemic change that's coming. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why I think blockchain is going to be so su successful. You know, it's there. Um, it, it's always baffled me with how Bitcoin came into existence, and I still have a lot of concerns around it. Um, certainly, if you look at what Bitcoin is trying to do, which is challenge the traditional banking sector, who controls that and the lengths they've gone to to maintain control of that historically it's history you know this isn't an opinion um how have they allowed bitcoin to survive for so long and is there a greater plan here i don't know maybe i'm just sort of uh, rambling on but let's dive into this clip of klaus uh, and then we're going to move on to the grayscale ceo what we have to confront is a deep systemic and structural restructuring of our world and this will take some time. And the world will look differently after we have gone through this transition process. Very interesting and a bit off topic in regards to what we usually cover in these daily market updates, but a um, subject that I feel should be addressed. You know, we are moving towards a digitalized world with the emergence of AI. I have Yeovil, uh, both of Yeovil uh, Harari's books behind me. Uh, Sapien and uh, the lessons that we've learned from the past, there's some like 21 lessons from the, the, the whatever century. Um, the world economic form has a lot of sway with a lot of countries and they are pushing for a more global world and blockchain fits in perfectly to that. Certainly you see, you know, why are they moving towards CBDCs? Well, because there's benefits of it, you know, programmable money that you can uh, control and you can seal the transactions and you can restrict. You know, this is all part of the agenda that, that we're moving towards. And I feel like I have an obligation as somebody with a platform to let people know that this is the direction we're going in and that, and that crypto, which we see as this amazing opportunity, we see it bringing all these good benefits, uh, just like with the internet, you know, th th there's going to be um, pros and cons, you know, internet really freed up information. We're all, I think, a lot more knowledgeable. 
as a result of it you know there's a lot of ease of use and stuff like this but there's also you know this this kind of controllability element that that, 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 that comes with it. And i think blockchain is no saying there's going to be many pros but there's also going to be cons and and, and the uh, world economic forms agenda is to globalize and they are going to use blockchain to do it and it's one reason i'm so sure that this industry is going to be uh, very successful moving on from what is perhaps a bit of a dark and gloomy subject um let's talk about and, and kind of pick up from where we left off yesterday. You know, yesterday we were looking at this supply shock for Bitcoin. And we were looking at Bitcoin on exchanges, which is under 2 million. We were saying, you know, if you look at the people that have uh, file for ETFs, um, you know, they accrue a hell of a lot of uh, wealth. And then if you look at pension funds uh, and insurance funds, which the Valkyrie CEO or CIO was talking about, you know, they have a lot of money under management. And there's going to be, there's this happening. There's this kind of wall being broken down that's going to allow these people to, buy and get direct exposure to spot Bitcoin at the same time that there is um, the halvening taking place and miners are the biggest net seller. And I want to continue on from that with this clip of Grayscale CEO talking kind of about what's going to happen in 2024. Uh, and then remember, we did look at the halvening uh, yesterday. So let's do that. Let's move on to a more, I guess, um, uh, positive subject, you know, in regards to where we're heading, we'll look at a little bit of price action. Uh, we'll talk about something that I think is going to be a massive trend in crypto, and then we'll wrap the video up. Saw from, I mean, it was as low as seventeen thousand last uh, this year. Sure, you know, sure. So. Well, you know, Joe, I'm not one to make price predictions, but. I do think there is a lot of optimism again in the market. I think a lot of investors are adding Bitcoin to their portfolios. And when we look ahead to the hopeful approval for spot Bitcoin ETFs, it really is going to unlock the opportunity to a part of the investment community that for better or worse, but I would say for worse, has unfortunately been locked out of the opportunity to participate in having Bitcoin exposure in their portfolios. So we're really talking about the advised market here in the U.S., which is today about $30 trillion worth of advised wealth um, that we hope the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs, the uplisting of GBTC, will allow for that opportunity and for those investors to partake in it as well. Very interesting. Like I say, a lot of uh, uh, roads leading to the same destination for 2024. And, and, and hopefully, you know, you guys are going to be with me to take part in that journey. Moving on to a little bit of price action. Um, this is an uptrending market. You know, the, the I think there's still people in a mindset, despite all the, 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 the signs that have been shown to us, that you're going to get some sort of like really drastic correction in a kind of March 2020 fashion, or, you know, we think that could happen, but later on, uh, or that, you know, this is something that you're going to get low opportunities on again. This is a broken out market until this shows us that it wants to see downside and go and put in a new low or something like that. We, we, we stick with the trend. The trend is your friend. It's one of the most fundamental things you learn as a trader. Uh, and also probably more importantly as an investor and people look to book that. It's not just Bitcoin that's broken out. It's the total market cap of crypto. You know, this actually isn't too negative price structure that's setting up right now. And this is a daily time frame. We'll just put it on log. This could set up for continuation. Okay, very easily, just like this did. People are waiting when it has a bit of a rest for, you know, a, a real steep correction because most likely we're all special interests in some way, shape or form. They want to buy. However, don't be too greedy with this, guys. And it's not just the total two, it's the total, uh, sorry, the total, mark caps the total two, excluding Bitcoin, and also the total three. And look at these big wicks that are coming in. Understand the nature of the beast that you're dealing with and go acquit. You know, this is now an uptrending market, ladies and gentlemen. At the target that we had from the start of the year, which is 42K, it got hit. We're now consolidating around it as it's a key level of significance. It would be nice to see us get to sort of 48, maybe have a bit more of a deeper correction, set up essentially a similar structure to what we had here. And then we can project higher towards a sort of 50, uh, 150K range, um, which would be um, very interesting. And on the topic of what we were talking about then, if Bitcoin gets to 150K, that would make Satoshi one of the richest men on earth. Uh, and who is Satoshi? You know, this is one of the biggest threats to Bitcoin um, that we've seen. So generally, we think the market is destined for higher prices. Um, I have been promising to talk to you guys about what probably I think is one of the biggest opportunities that is setting up in the crypto space. Um, and that is infrastructure for Web3 in the likes of decentralized computing systems, um, which need disrupting just like Bitcoin disrupting central banks because decentralized co cloud computing is basically owned by three companies, uh, Microsoft, Apple, and uh, Google. Oh, sorry, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. Um, and also decentralized storage. And both of these 
things go hand in hand with a cryptoized world. And if you look at Solana right now, the current size of Solana is 187 terabytes. There is a cryptocurrency that we have been looking into that's got in a decentralized manner over 250 terabytes, which could handle the whole load and will ultimately grow. The more people join the network, they just release something very interesting. This is an opportunity that we're going to be looking at quite a lot more in the future because we believe there's a a potential investment opportunity there, uh, not financial advice, just my own opinion and, 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 and something I'll personally be taking. So that's really all I've got for you. Bit of a different one, bit of a weird one, I guess, because we wanted to start on the kind of World Economic Forum agenda uh, and, and highlight just how well crypto fits into that. And ultimately, that might be one reason why it does as well as it does. Uh, and then, of course, you know, we know what's likely to come in 24, which is this wall that's been put up around the crypto space being broken down first with a Bitcoin spot ETF, then likely an Ethereum one. And probably I would guess something like Solana, given its institutional status. Um, and then, you know, it will go down the chain and you'll have baskets of altcoins, all this stuff. You know, it's very exciting and a golden opportunity to be interested in a market before it's even became a market. Um uh, in a traditional sense. So that's really all I've got for you guys. If you've enjoyed this content, like is appreciated, so is a comment. And on that note, I'm going to love and leave you. Have a wonderful Tuesday, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.